League of Legends is a team-oriented strategy game beloved by millions. This is Andrew from Curse, and I'm going to tell you everything you need to know to dive right into League and give you the edge to win your early matches. You'll start out by choosing a champion. Each of these characters is a unique individual with their own set of skills, abilities, and backstories. Some champions like to get up close and personal with their enemies and absorb damage. Others prefer to fight from range, slinging projectiles towards their opponents to devastating effect. There are even mighty mages who can cast powerful spells which trap or damage their foes, or assassins who lurk in the shadows waiting for the perfect moment to leap out and shred their target. There's a champion out there for everybody and every playstyle, so look around and see which one of these legends catches your eye. When you first start a match, you will find yourself and your teammates in the fountain. This is also where you will respawn if your champion dies. While standing in the fountain, you will recover health and mana and have access to the shop, one of the most important elements of growing stronger in League of Legends. At the start of the match, you will have a small amount of gold, which can be used to purchase some basic items like potions or equipment. As the match progresses, you will earn gold by defeating enemies, and you can then spend this gold in the shop to purchase more items and make your champion stronger. There are a lot of items you can purchase, and it can be confusing for a new player. However, to get started, we propose just sticking with the items recommended to you by the game. As you play more matches and learn more about the champions, you will find yourself customizing and experimenting with the item choices more to see what works best for you. Once you have your starting items, you will head to one of the three lanes, commonly referred to as top, mid, and bot. Each lane leads from one base to another. Between the lanes is the jungle. This area is filled with monsters that can provide you with gold and experience, as well as powerful buffs. However, entering the jungle, if you are not prepared, can be dangerous as you run into monsters too powerful for you, or even enemy champions lurking in the dark. Certain characters can roam the jungle from the start of the match, but that's a topic for another time. Your chosen lane is where you will spend most of your time during the start of the match to earn as much gold and experience as possible. You will do this in a couple of ways. The first is by killing enemy minions. Both teams have minions who will spawn in your base and then walk directly down the lanes towards the other team's base, engaging any enemies they come across. When an enemy minion dies nearby, you will gain experience. But to get gold, you will need to deal the killing blow, often referred to as the last hit. It's important to practice last hitting minions as it's the most vital source of income for your champion. More gold means better items, which means a stronger champion. As I mentioned before, you won't need to land the last hit to get experience. Any minion that dies nearby will grant you experience regardless of whether you damaged it or not. As you gain experience, you will also level up. Each level will grant you an ability point which can be spent to unlock or level up one of your skills. Once you reach level 6, you can unlock your ultimate ability. These skills have a much longer cooldown than your other abilities, but they can also be used to devastating effect to crush your opponents and turn the tide of battle. Along each of the three lanes are turrets. Those on your side of the map are friendly, but you will need to destroy your enemy's turrets to reach their base. The turrets are very powerful and will destroy even a strong champion in seconds. To take them down, you will need to play smart. The best way to do this is to allow your minions to engage the turret first. While there are minions in range of the turret, it will focus on them before targeting you. Let your minions absorb the turret's attacks while you do what you can to damage its health. But be sure to move away before your last minion dies, because if you're still in range of the turret, it will start to attack you. Also, if you attack an enemy champion while in range of the turret, it will instantly switch its attention to you rather than your minions, so be careful out there. Enemy champions are an ever-present threat on the battlefield, but if you kill one of them, they can also be a great source of gold. Try to work with your teammates to get the jump on your opponents by luring them close and having an ally jump out and help you defeat them. If you can defeat an enemy or force them off the lane, you will often be left unopposed, allowing you to push more aggressively towards a turret and focusing on last hitting minions. However, even the best laid plans only last until first contact with the enemy, and sometimes things won't go as planned. If your champion dies, you will have to wait for your death timer to expire before you can respawn at the fountain. Dying early in the match only takes you out of the game for a few seconds, but later on it can result in a penalty of up to 30 seconds and more. You won't lose any items, gold, or experience upon dying, and you can still use the downtime wisely to buy items in the shop or plan out which items you want to buy next. 
Now it's time to get out there and dive into League of Legends. At first, you will have co-op versus AI available where you and your team will test your skills against the computer. Practice a few games here and then you can move on to fighting against other real players. Once you've got the hang of things, make sure to come back to Leaguepedia to help you improve even more with other helpful tutorials and articles. Or check out the best players in the world on Twitch.tv, where you can catch them competing in tournaments for thousands of dollars.